All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to use a Hamilton Beach coffee maker. All right, so I have a Hamilton Beach coffee maker right here, and I'm gonna show you how I use it. Now, if you wanna look up at the top of the coffee maker, there's instructions right here where it shows to lift it, you place the coffee pot in there. Let me see if you can see that a little bit better. And then once you do that, uh, you close it, and then you add water to it, and then you press brew. So we're gonna go over that process really quick, okay? So important for you to read your instructions before you do this, so you know all the safety precautions and whatnot. So I have the Hamilton Beach coffee maker, and what I'm going to do is exactly that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and lift up this. There's a little latch right here. It says lift it open. I'm gonna lift that, and then I am going to grab my coffee. Today I'm gonna to be having Tully's French roast, dark roast coffee, all right? It's made by Keurig. There it says it's Keurig right there. Where is it Keurig? It just says Keurig right there. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna place this in here, all right? I'm gonna place it in there, and then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna close it right there, all right? So make sure it's closed, and then I am going to lift this up right here, this flap, and I'm gonna have to add some water to it. So I'm gonna have a, a cup of water. So I'll fill the cup up with the amount of water I want for the coffee. I'm gonna pour it inside of the tank right here, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the cup and place it underneath right there, the spigot. And then I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna press brew, just like that. And so it's gonna to start to brew any second now. I'm waiting on it right here. It says brew, and we're gonna we're gonna wait this through. See if you hear anything. Oh, I just turned it off. All right, I'm turning it back on, and it is brewing, all right? So let's see. It's going to start brewing any second now. I hear it making some noise. Nothing coming out yet, but it's making some noise. It's gurgling. See nothing inside of the cup right now. It's gurgling. Something is happening. I believe what's going on right now is that the water is starting to boil. And when the water boils, it's going to send the water through the K cup right here, the Tully's cup, French rose cup, and into the cup below. So the process is just beginning. I hear it. It's coming close. So the water comes through this and it goes inside of this cup right here. It's coming very slowly. But rest assured, it is going to come through here. So let me see if I can look up in here and see any water sort of coming out. Nothing yet. Just listening to the sound of the water boiling. Let's see what's going to go on next. Nothing. Boiling. All right, it's coming. I believe it's about to start pouring. I'm going to stay quiet for one second. All right, that was one second. Now it's starting to come out. I feel, I feel that it's coming through the K-cup. This is what, look, look. Here, here it comes, right there. I'm getting close so you can see this a little bit better. So it's coming out of the K-cup and it is going inside of this cup right here, filling it. I can smell the French rose. Look at that. Very smooth, the cup is filling up. I can see some of the steam coming up right now. Piping hot, be careful with this because hot water is hot. All right, so a couple of more drops. I'm waiting for the sound to stop. I'll be quiet for a second. And it's almost done. A couple more drops, a couple more drops. All right. It is done brewing the coffee. There's one drop. Let's see if we can get that drop to drip down. All right, let's see. Come on, drop. We need one more drop of coffee. One more drop. Is it gonna go? Let's see. Let's see if this is going to drop. It looks like it's ready to fall. Plunge inside of the cup to make, whoa. All right. That is how you use a Hamilton Beach coffee maker. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to read your instructions and abide by the instructions that the owner, that the use, that the manufacturer made for you. Kind of stumbled on that. Maybe I need some coffee.